How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We just saw Charles Hoskinson give his keynote speech. I know who he had the partnership with. I will actually try to upload that video where he talks about the partnership because it's really cool. But we're gonna go through who the partnership is with. It's a Fortune 250 company. So it's one that you've heard of. It's a very interesting way that they can work together and it will be great for crypto. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about some of the other big things that he talked about and also when he plans on leaving some updates too on future things to come and then also also we will look at the price action so if you guys don't mind hitting the like button i appreciate that this is not going to be a long video just like i've been doing more recently i'm going to make it short and sweet for you also if you guys want you can also hit that bell notification so you can see right when i put out a video and hit subscribe too if you haven't done that and last thing if you guys want to buy cardano and you want to get an interest rate, there's a link underneath the video. You can check out Voyager. They pay over 5%. Uh, so definitely check them out. They pay you every single month in Cardano. So first of all, let's talk about the big partnership. Let's get that out of the way. Well, it is with Dish. So you know the ISP they work with, or actually they acquired Boost Mobile. They have 8 million clients. So Boost Mobile has 8 million clients. Dish has a lot of clients themselves. They are working together. They actually reached out to Cardano, it sounds like, and they are doing a deal. So what are they doing? Well, they are actually providing DIDs, so decentralized identities. Now, what that means, why is that important? Okay, think about what you have to do to identify yourself, right? You need a government-issued ID, you need a passport, a driver's license, something like that, some kind of card that identifies you. Online, what do you use? Sometimes you have to use that if you're on your cell phone and you need to take a picture of your driver's license or something. But we oftentimes use emails or we use our cell phone numbers. The problem with that is we don't actually have the power over that, right? Those are owned by Google. Those are owned by your phone, your phone provider. Well, decentralized identities give you the power. They are connected to you. So you actually own the identity and you can use it. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still learning more about this. I have not looked into this a lot, but that is what people are gonna use it for, right? So you don't get kicked out of, uh, of all your programs, all the websites that you're logged into because you get, you get your email taken away or something like that. So that is the power of it. Now, what else did they talk about? Okay, and we'll get to price action here in a minute and what could come in the future. They talked about the decentralized app store, that's coming. So you don't have to ask permission to Google and Apple to get decentralized apps. We knew that was gonna come, we'll probably hear more about it this weekend. So from there, they also talked about a Cardano wallet. They also talked, Charles talked about how Mithril is coming and it's coming next year. A lot of people are talking about how that's gonna be pushed back, but he said that's coming. Also, he said that he's not going anywhere. He said he's not going anywhere anytime soon, but he did say that he thought that the organization, that the cryptocurrency itself has outgrown him. He thinks that he doesn't need to be there for it to be successful. And he can sit back a little bit more and watch as things progress over the coming years, but he's not going anywhere. He's still gonna be working hard on Cardano. So let's talk about price action because I was actually pleasantly surprised right now Cardano sitting around $2.43. Honestly, I didn't think it would pump up this much into the Cardano Summit, but I'm guessing a lot of people were trying to trade to hear who they're partnering with, who's their big partner. So we have $2.43, $2.45, came back down a little bit to the low 240s. Honestly, as the whole cryptocurrency market is trading sideways, uh, I did expect a little bit of a pump leading into the Cardano Summit, but like I said, I didn't think it would continue this late into it. If you are looking at buying Cardano, I talk about this a lot. If you're looking long term, great, buy Cardano. It's going to be a great, it's going to be a great cryptocurrency in my opinion. Assuming we have a bull run throughout the rest of the year, I think it's going to be a really good, a really good token to hold on to, a really good crypto to hold on to. However, if you're trying to buy it on the hype of the summit, I do think it's late. I think it's late, right? We're already through the keynote speech where they announced the massive partnership. If you're just trying to make a quick swing trade, I think it's a little bit late on that front. Now, that being said, I will try to upload, maybe on the end of this video, if this is a longer video, 
than you expected if it's like 10 minutes. It's because I uploaded the Charles Hoskinson speech and it would, could actually be put on here. I'm not sure if it can or if it there's music in the background, so I'm not sure I can play it. But let me know you guys' thoughts on this underneath the video. Let me know your comments and thoughts on this partnership. Thank you guys so much for checking out the links below and hitting the like button and subscribe just so that I know that you like this kind of content. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.